What's up y'all, Warner Found Lone Rod here with sort of an experimental uh, driving vlog. By experimental meaning uh, I kind of set my camera up uh, <laughs> inside my dashboard. I don't know how the sound's going to be. I got the mic just sort of lying on top and not pointing at me. So, you know, it's experimental in a technical way. So I figured what I'd talk about would be something uh, equally experimental to complement it. So uh, there's actually nothing to show you, which is, you know, no, no records of CDs because this is actually something that is still completely unreleased uh, except as free mp3s that have been leaked onto some message boards and whatnot. I'm talking about the incomplete album by Circus and Odd Nozzle. Now it started out, this album has been announced and sort of forthcoming for years on Anticon's website and all this. Uh, I, they've eventually called it off but ages this was coming. Um, and there was one MP3 that they had recorded first that they put out that was on anticon.com for free. It was there for ages called Pick Me for President, which is a really fun kind of, you know, somewhat jokey, uh, but definitely in circuses and odd nozzles and minimal style um, of uh, circus running for president where he sort of gives outlandish promises. He talks about his kind of odd uh, space theories. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, UFO conspiracies, that sort of thing. Um, and it's fun, it's pretty light. And it's pretty actually different then from the rest of the album that was sort of recorded later. That's the song that everyone's sort of familiar with. Uh, and then let's try, we'll try, I'm gonna try playing some clips of it right now in my car and we'll hear how that sounds. Okay, so here we go. Pick me for president. This intro is from American Psycho, by the way. and countrymen, I come to you with ideas of cool new stuff. Now, I can't promise to make it rain dub sacks and gummy bears or even lemon drops. And I can't promise you things like naked ladies on ecstasy or root beer floods or old English 800 blowing out of public school drinking fountains. But the one promise I can make is that if they don't lower the prices of gas, I swear I'm gonna tell the whole world about the aliens and reveal to the people and warn the American public about the truth of the extraterrestrial presence. Be the president. Oh, I will do a good job. From now on, every day will be a holiday. It actually kind of reminds me of um, Vote for Gigante. It's maybe a little less of a novelty soon, uh, song than that, but you know, but not much. <laughs> uh, perhaps just more that is by established artists. Uh, but anyway, so that's the one song that has sort of been released in any capacity. Actually, that's not entirely true. Another song is used as the intro to uh, Shapeshifter's tour CD. That's another one I already, that's one I already blogged about, but uh, so I'll put a link in the bottom or something. But uh, the opening to the sort of unreleased EP uh, is used as the intro to uh, Army of the Shapes, which is a tour CD that the Shapeshifters put out in 2010-11, um, late 10, early 11. So the one thing about that song that you really notice is that it's a lot darker in tone. It's stranger, uh, the instrumentals start to feel um, sort of like he's sampling Werner Herzog soundtracks or something, and he might literally be. It's including the one from the uh, Army of the Shapes CD, there's only five total. Um, and the subject matter uh, is, is, well, sort of all over the place. He's, he talks about being a zombie, he talks about, you know, eating chupacabra meat and all kinds of strange shit. Sometimes there's a message to it, sort of about uh, the corporatization of the food industry and things like that, and, and how unhealthy it gets and all. And sometimes I don't know if there's anything much to it besides sort of complete insanity. Uh, it's all pretty compelling though. So it's kind of strange, but it's not off-putting arbitrarily strange. I mean, it might be off-putting to some. It's, it is circus after all. But, uh, you know, it doesn't feel like it's just necessarily being strange for the sake of it. Uh, it's certainly sort of artsy hip-hop and strange hip-hop uh, and, and, and <laughs> everything you would expect from Circus and Ad Nazdom. So yeah, it's just the five songs, although Ad Nazdom has also released the instrumentals for the tracks that Circus never recorded the vocals to. 
plus the uh, instrumentals for the pre-existing tracks. Now there's some backup vocalists on here. You'll hear Soul. I think you'll hear Y. You'll hear Y's girlfriend Anna, uh, or ex-girlfriend, I guess not. I don't know, but Anna, uh, as in um, you know the Y album live from Anna's cabin. That Anna. Uh, so there's a couple people doing backup vocals. Uh, I assume Angry Mushroom Girls also one of the girls on there. Uh, but it's really just all circus. I mean, they're on there doing voices, but nobody else rapping or speaking at length. Uh, Besides Circus, I don't know if Circus is necessarily rapping through all the songs himself. So again, it's all completely unreleased, and unfortunately it's probably going to stay that way, which is really a shame because it's really strong. So anybody who's at all interested in the Shapeshifters or, uh, you know, artists like Cloud Dead, which of course is a odd Nazim production, uh, definitely seek it out. I mean, I think it's some of their really strongest, uh, strangest and compelling work uh, from either of them. I'm sure the original posts are long gone, but I'm also sure tons and tons of fans are sharing and resharing those tracks. I think this would be a great EP. It could be like limited edition vinyl with just, you know, the six songs on one side, instrumentals on the other. It'd be, you know, or a limited edition CD, something you should put it out. I mean, how long have us fans been asking for things like uh, stuffed animals? So I'm sure it's never going to happen. I don't, um,. You know, for the same reasons that the album never got completed, that I don't know if Circus is really working with Odd Nazim anymore, and they'd surely have to have some joint say in the release of the album. So it's probably just going to stay vaulted forever. But you know, if you can sneak out one song on Shifter's Army, man, just sneak the whole thing out on a, on a limited edition tour CD, or better yet, a really awesome vinyl, be great. Uh, fans will definitely buy it and appreciate it. I will buy it and appreciate it, that's for sure. So 
then what does she do? She makes you feel bad with some of those big sad puppy dog eyes. But as she grows, oh no no. Both. Hey. Nice. Both. Hey. Trust me, dude. Both. Hey. Both. Whatever, dude. Both. Nah, dog. Both. The hip hop goblins for real, dude. Both. I seen them. No one even knows what he looks like. I know nobody knows what he looks like, but dude. I've seen the outline of the shadow. Bullshit. Silhouette in the moonlight with the trench coat and 40 years, dude. You're around the alley. Bullshit. No one even knows you what they're doing. Hey, dude. Hey, whatever, dude. I know you think it's all fake. I kicks. But shit, I'm going to pay you back forever. If I'm gremlin, it's someone that likes to borrow your shit without even asking. No one's really sure what he looks like, but one thing's for sure, that the hip-hop album is always up to something, he's always up to no good, and there's just no telling when she'll strike again. Oops. The hip-hop goblin did it again. Oh no, Daddy. The hip-hop goblin didn't do it. This is the last one. When the hip hop goblin came to hell, it's time to shit real fast. Why? Cause the hip hop never was about to shit and never give it back. Cause the hip hop was about to shit, hide to stash. Hip hop goblins on the loose. Here is our cup, your daughters. Cause the whack and seasons on the ground. Hip hop goblin is in the